my name is Shirley Roman. I am originally from Colombia, South America. And my name is Luis Alejandro, Vice President of Internal Audit here at Partners. I was born and raised in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yo soy Boricua, pa que tú lo sepas. My name is Alicia Hernandez. I work for our Partners Downtown Anaheim branch, and I am Mexican American. Hi, I'm Daniel. I handle video production and synergy marketing for Partners, and I produce this video. My father came here from Cuba when he was a child. Coming from on a Spanish-speaking island, uh, I guess I will identify myself as Hispanic. I am um, Hispanic. Uh, I feel that with the speaking the Spanish language, that makes me a Hispanic and Latina. I uh, definitely um, identify myself as a proud Latina. I've always had an affinity for the term Hispanic only because I was born in New Jersey and I don't think I ever heard the term Latino there uh, until I moved to California. I identify as Latina. To me, Latina means to be beautiful, to be empowered, and to be passionate. Hispanic heritage means so much to me. It's, um, it just helps me understand where I come from, uh, my traditions, my ancestors. Um, it's about the values and everything that I can uh, live with my family. It's a reminder of my roots, my hometown, and especially my people, family and friends. I embrace my cultural traditions and influences every day. For me, during Hispanic Heritage Month, it means to take time out of my busy days to celebrate my heritage. And it's a time that we as a culture can bring awareness on who we are, our beautiful traditions and our customs. And we get to find community uh, with other people who share our heritage. In our culture, we are very family-oriented, hardworking, loyal, and passionate. These are traits that you can see in all that I do and the relationships that I have, whether it be in my personal life or work life. Working hard, being humble, always putting family first, treating everyone with dignity and respect, staying positive at all times, and last but not least, smiling to the world. These are all things in me that are heavily attributed to my culture. I was, in a way, pressured to perform and to be successful. Uh, and so I, that expectation is with me, and I'm doing my very best. Uh, that, and of course, I really do enjoy, particularly Mexican food, even though I'm not Mexican, but I, I really love Mexican food. Of course, I love Cuban food. I want to make sure that I influence those people around me. I'm being Latina. I can not only influence them with values, but also with my traditions, where, with um, everything that I learned growing up in Colombia. There is so much from our culture that I appreciate being a part of. There is our strong family values, our faith. We have lively music that I love to dance to and how we love to celebrate and we'll make a fiesta out of any occasion. One tradition in which you can see this and it's one of my favorites, it's our posadas. They are a celebration leading up to Christmas. I think I can put a pixie dust with a little bit of spice. The big thing that comes to mind uh, are the Christmas celebrations in the island, uh, which basically uh, start right after Thanksgiving and they carry out to like the third week of January. And it's a very nice uh, time where everybody gets together, family and friends, uh, basically to honor our culture, our food, our music, and everything that comes with culture. I think the cultural traditions of, of the Hispanic cultures that I'm personally most proud of is really how we party. That I can um, give that to my children. They are born in this country and they were not able to experience a lot of the things that I experienced growing up. And I love the fact that I can still give that to them and they can embrace it and they can celebrate it. And we can all celebrate it together. I think uh, food, music, dancing, all of that is something that I'm very proud of when we get together for the holidays. I've been really encouraged during this period of Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month that we've seen this year in 2021. And I've been really pleased how marked it has been by celebration. And it's gotten me very excited for the future 
and for future celebrations like this one.